I was 14 years old when I got pregnant. The first year of motherhood for me was difficult. I mean, you can't even drive yet at 15. What have some of the more negative comments said? A lot. I don't even know if I can say. <laughs> How dare you promote teen pregnancy? If I could go back, I would definitely change my reaction. Having a seven-year-old son as a 22-year-old is fun. It feels like we're growing up together. He is my little ball of joy. Can you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay, grab me a cram. I would say Milo has a very fun personality. He's very into sports. He loves being active. Now we're both riding cars. What's a goal of yours for 2024, Milo? Mm. What's something you would like to accomplish? Let's play flag football. Flag football? <laughs> you gonna do it? <laughs> okay, grab the pink one and let's cheers it. Ready? Cheers! You gotta say cheers! <laughs> <laughs> when I found out I was pregnant, I was definitely terrified. I don't feel like I got to enjoy my pregnancy being a teen mom because it was something that I hid and was very like scared of telling people and kind of there was a lot of shame around it. So when I saw him for the first time, it was magical. What do you want to do today, Milo? Did you want to go over to Nani's? Yeah. Woohoo! I told my parents pretty much as soon as I found out I was pregnant. They were pretty disappointed. I felt like, well, being a teen mom myself, I felt like a failure. It like really hit me hard. If I could go back, I would definitely change my reaction. Really? Because I was like, I, I feel like I could have been much more supportive to you. <laughs> it, it's a whole learning thing. You learn from it. I don't feel like anybody's ever prepared for that. You know, you're never prepared to tell your parents that you're pregnant at 14, and you're never prepared to hear that your 14-year-old's pregnant. I think being young moms has bonded us in a way because we're almost kind of like sisters. We grew up together. Our so relationship we... is... It's so beautiful. The first year of motherhood for me was definitely difficult. I was 15. Um, you can't even drive yet at 15. You did everything for Milo. You got up with him. You took care of him. You were a very independent mother. We truly had a better relationship after I moved out because I felt like I could just be the head of my household because I, I was trying to be that for Milo. When I moved out, I was 18 and Milo was three. Well, you've done a great job with everything. I'm so proud of you. I wouldn't change anything, honestly. Okay, let's talk about your love life. All right, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna need to be a whole other, a whole other episode. I have high standards because I'm a mom. Like, yeah. I, I, I've had people that have almost degrade moms and they're like, you should lower your standards because you're a mom or you're expecting too much as a single mom. Like, no, if you're a single mom, you should have higher standards. Why would you lower your standards when you have children? That makes zero sense. That's here. <laughs> I've seen such a strength over you. I just know that you're going to be successful at whatever you do. And I, anything that you put your hands to, I'm so proud of you. I'm so thankful for you. Such a good mother. I think being a grandparent is the greatest thing ever. I experienced a lot of judgment when I found out I was pregnant at 14. It got through the school pretty quick. A lot of people would call me names in the hall and there was horrible rumors that were going around. I think that when people hate on you, it says more about them than you. I didn't drop out of high school. I persevered through high school. I did, however, stop going to public school after I had Milo. I started doing online school. So I was able to graduate and I still walked up my ceremony with Milo on my hip. I do still experience judgment. I've gone out multiple times and people will be like, oh, you look really young. I, you know, you don't look like you'd have a seven-year-old. I certainly experienced more judgment online. I've received tens of thousands of hate comments that are pretty brutal. What have some of the more negative comments said? <laughs> I don't even know if I can say. <laughs> Most of them are honestly just them calling me a People will be like, 
how dare you promote teen pregnancy? I would never, I wouldn't wish this on anybody and I would never promote it. I totally believe that you should wait till you're married. A lot of the more positive comments are people just proud of me for being a good mom, for giving Milo a good life. I really thrive off of those and I don't pay any attention to the negative. There definitely is a stigma around being a teen mom. A lot of people have their own opinions. They think that the child is just in a bad situation. I think that being a young mom also doesn't determine how good of a mom you are. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, beautiful. Aw, you guys look so pretty. Oh. Good to it's see so you. Good to see when we first met, you didn't know that I was a mom, right? What did you think when I told you that I had Milo at 15? I was surprised, but I also, you're just such an amazing person that hearing that made me really happy for Milo to have you as a mom. I thought Milo was your little brother. <laughs> Alia definitely brings out my goofy side. Having Milo so young, I feel like I've always had to be grown. And so when I don't have Milo and like Ollie and I get together and we just like, kind of, we're just like high schoolers again. Yeah. So you guys are business partners now. Tell me about that. How's it going? So good. Oh yeah. And something that Jocelyn and I love to do is like when we're out, we'll be anywhere. We'll be out at a bar. <laughs> we will be out at a restaurant. I don't care where we're at a party. We're selling houses. And we're selling houses. Having Milo at such a young age definitely caused me to be more driven because I wanted to be able to provide a good life for him. I am a real estate broker. I would say I'm successful. Am I where I want to be? Probably not. I think there's always room for growing. I think Alex is just such a role model for women. I feel like sometimes I see you know, these teen moms, you get labeled as a teen mom and it has a negative connotation. She did everything yeah. and so that's something that like you should be like proud of. Like, people yeah. need a role model like you. Like people need a role model like you to know they can do it too. So. Aww. Well, that's crazy you guys say that because you guys are my role model, so <laughs> that means a lot coming from you guys. <laughs> I really would like to use my platform as a platform to like encourage other moms, encourage other teen moms or single moms and like building success and building their dream life and not letting their circumstances prevent them from that. I feel my life is way better with Milo than without. I couldn't imagine it any other way. I told him that he can achieve any of his dreams if he just works towards it and if he really believes that he can. I would describe my teen mom journey as honestly a wild roller coaster. If I could go back in time and tell my younger self when I was 14 and found out I was pregnant, I would just say that, you know, life is really, it's really not that serious. People's opinions of you just really don't matter in the long run. Thank <laughs> you.